What's going on everybody? Carlos here from Tools420, back with a brand new Dry Herb Vaporizer review. And if you don't know us, we love vaporizers. And we love talking about vaporizers and sharing everything we find out about them. And in today's video, we'll be going over the brand new hot release by Granko Science, the G-Pen Elite 2. If you find this video helpful at all, please hit that like button. And remember to subscribe to our channel to find out about other fun videos we have in store. We absolutely love the support, but Let's get started. Even if you don't know vaporizers, you have probably seen a G-Pen ad somewhere over the years. They even had the likes of Snoop Dogg publicly endorsing them back when they first got started. You couldn't walk into a smoke shop anywhere without getting bombarded by G-Pen ads back in those days. It's been a while since then and G-Pen has done a lot of growing. So much growth that they even released a brand new version of their very popular G-Pen Elite. And as the title suggests, We'll be talking about the brand new G Pen Elite 2. Right out of the box, the G Pen Elite is a little bit more on the minimal side of things. So it comes with one G Pen Elite 2 vaporizer, one silicone sleeve that acts as a scratch and heat shield. We'll explain that later. One Type C USB charger and one hemp travel case, which is actually really, really handy. The G Pen Elite 2 is a three button vaporizer, which comes with a full color TFT temperature display. To power on the Elite 2, you simply press and hold the power button for five seconds. You'll be greeted by the G Pen logo that fades away into a temperature display. Select your temperatures using the plus and minus buttons. You'll notice the minus buttons a little bit hard to press, especially if you got fat thumbs like me. Now that you got your your temperature selected, press the power button twice fast to start heating up your oven. It takes about 20 seconds to reach max temperature from a cold start. The Elite 2 is a hybrid vaporizer that uses a mix of conduction heating and draw activated convection heating. The convection boost does provide a better, higher quality vapor than the original Elite, but it takes a little bit longer than 20 seconds to really get your session started with thick, heavy vapor. What really stood out to me about the Elite 2 is that you can turn off the on-demand convection boost to really customize your sessions in the menu systems. We'll be showing you that a little bit later. Using the Elite 2 is quite effortless. As the mouthpiece is magnetic, there won't be any screwing or twisting to expose your ceramic oven. The oven is a little bit wider than most, so it is easier to fill, but we found that it can only hold about 0.3 of a gram. Vipen suggests that it can fit up to 0.5 of a gram of very finely ground flour. The pick tool is also built in, so there won't be a need to be carrying it around separately in a bag or in a pocket. The mouthpiece screen is fairly wide and it leads to a zirconia helix cooling path. That's such a fucking hard word to say. Then exits out the mouthpiece. The seal of the mouthpiece to the oven is made out of rubber. So it will come into direct contact with it as it flows through the helix. And it tends to diminish flavor profiles of your vapor. Also side note, as you can probably see there, the mouthpiece is also made out of zirconia and it can absorb heat very well. So the zirconia itself can get pretty hot on really high temperatures and when you're taking really long draws. If you find this to be a problem, the silicone shield will help if you have sensitive lips. The new screen also makes using the Elite 2 incredibly easy to customize, as you can press the power button five times fast to enter a pretty sweet menu system. This allows you to toggle your convection boost as well as customize your session timer from half a minute to a maximum of five minutes. Here you can enable or disable your haptic feedback, as well as adjust your brightness, select your preferred temperature scale, and check for firmware. There will also be Wi-Fi support for updating your device once they have an update ready to drop. As mentioned before, right off the bat, one of the main key features of the Elite 2 is the ability to turn on and off your hybrid heating. Personally, I would never turn off the convection boost, but I do like how G-Pen gave us the ability to choose. The built-in pick tool is also great because I personally hate having to carry a separate tool just to be able to clean out my device on the go. And like many cannabis users out there, without the haptic feedback, I would even forget I started a session in the first place, especially if it's my second or third. I really enjoyed having the ability to see all my options right away. Rather than having to flip through all the options one by one, like you do on the Air Riser Solo 2. The Elite 2 with a very handy battery saving feature that if it's left alone, 
and it doesn't register an inhale within a minute of reaching temperature, it will stop heating and go into a standby. This isn't affected by your session timer. The session timer only states how long the oven will heat for. During that time, if you stop taking draws within a minute, your device will go back into a standby. And if the oven is not re-engaged after a minute of that standby, the Elite 2 will automatically shut down. As of right now, there's no way to customize the sleep timer, but maybe in the future, this is something that they will add to it in one of their updates. In our testing, we were able to keep the Elite 2 on for about 17 minutes consecutively, turning on the oven every time it had reached max session time and inhaling every 45 seconds or so. Truthfully, I was a little worried about how long, how much longer I could keep this device on. So we did end the test before the Elite 2 could just shut off on its own. It was pretty impressive to be honest, as most devices do just automatically shut down after 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if you just re-engaged your oven or if you were in the middle of an inhale, some of them just shut down. The full zirconia mouthpiece, I do have my mixed feelings about. Aesthetically, it looks great. And it feels really nice putting it up against your lips. You know, it's very ergonomic, but functionally it is a little bit weird as they usually just use zirconia and cooling pads to try and absorb as much heat as possible from the vapor before it reaches your mouth. On the Elite 2, the whole outer shell of the mouthpiece is made out of zirconia. So it gets pretty hot while you're inhaling, as we mentioned before. Personally, it didn't bother me much, but I can see some people having a problem with this. Thankfully, the silicone sleeve is there and it did solve that problem for us. For best cloud production, we do recommend a tightly packed bowl. The convection boost will give you better cloud production. With conduction only, you definitely won't be getting the dense clouds, but the flavor will be better and it could be considered more discreet, especially if you combine it with the darkened screen. We found that covering the air intake like a type of carb cap also really helps vapor production. You can really feel the difference in vapor almost instantly as the mouthpiece starts to get a little bit warm and the vapor starts to tickle your throat. Also, if you are in a little bit of a rush and you don't have time to be doing all this stuff, we found that just preheating the bowl one time before you start your session gets everything kickstarted right away. The battery life on the Elite 2 is pretty average. We found that we got about an hour of battery life on medium temperatures, but really anything above 380 degrees Fahrenheit high really drain the battery. But you know that makes sense as you do need more power to be able to keep those high temperatures going for long periods of time. We had about six five minute sessions before the battery meter hit the last notch. The Elite 2 comes with a 2100 milliamp battery and a universal USB-C charger. So with the right power adapter or a more modern USB slot on your PC and will enable you to fast charge your Elite 2, which takes about 90 minutes to fully charge your device from 0%. Similar to the PAX 3, the battery is not replaceable. But thankfully, unlike the PAX 3, the G-Pen Elite comes included with pass-through charging. So the low battery meter won't really get in the way of your sessions. The G-Pen Elite 2 easily falls in the ranks of premium mid-tier devices, like the DaVinci IQ2, the PAX 3, or the SUSE ARC GT. And in my opinion, it blows most of those devices out of the water. But as the Elite 2 is so new, it does lack an ecosystem of accessories and adapters to use your Elite 2 in different ways, unlike the devices mentioned above. But with a few bowls and some stoner engineering, we found a way fairly quickly to adapt the Elite 2 to most of the bongs and bubblers that we had laying around. It's not very sturdy, but removing the rubber plug from the mouthpiece and replacing the helix for the glass tube on our whip bubbler kit, toolstore20.com, you know where to find it, and attaching the whip to the bubbler and using the horn as a mouthpiece, we were able to rip the densest clouds from this little guy over here. Let us know if you've been able to figure out a better way to adapt the Elite 2 and uh, what you thought of it. Maintenance is as simple as most devices. 99% isopropyl alcohol is gonna be your best friend when it comes to removing gunk or built up resin inside of your device. It's also really good at evaporating and not leaving any residue behind. So when you heat this up, you're not gonna be tasting all the nasty alcohol flavors. The mouthpiece and the pick tool are really the only things that can be removed from the device. The mouthpiece 
can be disassembled. The helix cooling path, the mouthpiece screen, the zirconia mouthpiece, along with the pick tool can all be submerged into isopropyl alcohol and left overnight. The rubber piece that holds everything together though, it's best to just wipe it down and swab it with some alcohol and rinse right after. We don't recommend submerging the rubber into the alcohol as the alcohol can break down these kind of plastics. Also remember after all of this, please rinse off all your parts correctly. You don't want to be inhaling hot alcohol vapor. It's not very tasty and it kind of hurts. g pens also included a really nice two year warranty that can be extended if you register your device with g pen They just don't cover regular wear and tear, battery and issues that could come up from using the device incorrectly. The Elite 2 in general is very well built and way better than the original all plastic outer shell and mouthpiece. So I'm not too worried about the warranty. This device feels extremely solid and rugged and most definitely will outlive my current at home portable vaporizer. We really enjoyed our time with the Elite 2 and we can't wait to see how it holds out over the next few years. All right guys, if you found this video helpful at all, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more great vaporizer content. Don't forget to check out tools420.com and we have also set up a little Discord community so we can better interact with you guys. We're also trying to get Puff It Up to play a game of CSGO with us. So like, Puff It Up if you're watching. Link in the description down below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and until next time.